Today's episode is brought to you by Bark Technologies. With parental control monitoring apps in the new Bark phone, Bark is the best comprehensive parental control tool for families. Listen to today's episode for more details. Hey everybody, welcome to Don't Make Me Come Back There. We are a funny podcast about family. My name is Dustin Nickerson. I'm a stand-up comedian, comedian, and the host of the aforementioned podcast. Mm. And mm. alongside me, there's multiple people, hold on a second, but two people down from me is my lovely wife, hey uh, my CFO, and the co-host of this podcast, Melissa Nickerson. Hi guys. We are here in our state-of-the-art recording studio above Public Square, where we're all drinking some lovely Public That's Square right. coffee. And with us, in between us, is our Woo. third wheel, everybody. Everybody. Here, Zoltan Cassis. Cheers. 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 Hey, everybody. Square. To comedy in Public Square. Thanks for coming <laughs> in, buddy. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for uh, for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you paid your parking because mm -hmm. uh, Melissa mm -hmm. in full mom mode. Mom's got coins. Mom mm -hmm. had a bag full of coins. <laughs> yep. A giant Ziploc full of coins. And <laughs> a I tried, gallon. <laughs> yeah, I tried to pay it with my card, and it wouldn't do it, and you gave me a sack of coins. And it was like I was telling you guys, I was like, the only thought in my head was like a homeless guy is going to come by. <laughs> right, the trolley's right for, there. Uh, ask me for change, yeah. and I'm going to have to awkwardly go, this isn't mine. No. <laughs> I have to take this back. There's I'm a Sorry. Mother of children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is their milk. Who money. needs these these coins? <laughs> this is a child's lunch money. How dare you take this from me? Yeah, Joel asked for the coins. Because they're on the counter. Yeah. And I was like, no, I need those for parking. Well, that's who collects <laughs> coins are <Kids>. children and mothers. <laughs> That's and right. well, you know what? And some money. practical. I think it's me and you. Actually, coins are valuable in society. I think we're dumb for not having them. I just don't have them. Yeah, I don't have any. It's I nice not to have to lie to homeless people. It is it, because you're like, do you have any change? You're like, I don't. Do you I take know. Venmo? I, I'm do you doing have Apple it now. Pay set up? It's something better. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anytime a Apple gig pay. pays me in cash, I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash. Yeah, yeah. and cash. it's wrong. A hundred dollars cash feels like a thousand dollar check. Yes, it isn't. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> definitely isn't. <laughs> but that is something stupid that you and I. I, who came from not a lot of money and our road dogs uh, would be like, yeah, give me a hundred dollars cash instead of a thousand dollar check. <laughs> <laughs> that calculates, right? <laughs> I was actually telling Emma that because we got to go uh, do like a vet thing. And then I was like, we got to have like the cat's teeth clean. It's mm -hmm. like twelve hundred dollars. And oh, I'm like, man. I'm going to try to bring like an envelope of yeah. like seven hundred cash and go, how much can we downgrade to this, but it's cash. <laughs> no, you can do that with like furniture you, stores. You yeah. can. I've never yeah. done it, but I learned it, that at the mechanic could. shop. Cash I learned price. that. Yeah, yeah. you're like, how much mm -hmm. for cash, and you dirty, and then you mm -hmm. delete that yeah. invoice off of QuickBooks, and you're good mm -hmm. to go. People asking mm -hmm. the merch line, like, do you have a preference? I'm like, always cash, baby, always. It just goes in a pocket. I mean, according to any IRS, uh, you know, <laughs> person listening know, to yeah. this of Doing course we claim everything first. Every yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right well anyways thanks everybody for tuning in welcome to the back seat there it's nice to have a third person here in the front seat we've got lots to it talk is. about we're going to mm -hmm. talk about the super bowl i know we're late i had a back injury we're going to discuss it we're going to talk about a white guy winning the dunk contest health insurance <laughs> family stuff a gen z brother uh some more airpod stuff uh Zoltan's fiance, uh, hating traveling with him about three weeks into it, <laughs> uh, and some more. Before we get started, a couple little business here. We want to uh, give a special thank you to all of our patrons here. That's we got right. some Patreon questions here for you at the mm -hmm. end, Zoltan, from our lovely Patreon. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a way to give a little more to the podcast and get a little more. We have things like merch discounts and meet and greets at shows, cameos, uh, cameos all kinds of fun uh, things. You get info early. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a Zoom hang. Patreon Zoom hang. What? Why is this not on my uh, Unbelievable. Calendar? The lack of professionalism here I, in front of a friend is crazy. I, it's not on my calendar, we had a new, but I uh, we know had a, it's the 26th. We had a new January patron 26th. sign up yesterday. John, I think it's John. Uh, I, oh, I found it. John, I don't know how to say it. Uh, Bagus. I don't know how to say your last name, but I know you're a fan and you live Welcome in Phoenix John. and you signed up. Welcome, mm -hmm. John. I got it. Um, Sunday, February 26th at 3.30. We've uh, Pacific time, we've got a Patreon Zoom hang. There you go. So if you get in Patreon 
before Sunday, then you can join us. Awesome. Yeah, and awesome. $10 an up a month. Great. And mm-hmm. then some dates to promote to you guys, upcoming headlining dates. My headlining d- tour starts in May, and here they are, May 23rd, Brea, 19th. Oh, that's out of order. Oh, uh, out of the gate wrong. 19th and 20th, no. Ogden. Uh, <laughs> that's that's Salt Lake. If you're in Utah, you know it is. Uh, 26th, 27th, Des Moines. Uh, June 13th and 14th, Chicago. The 15th, Rosemont. 16th to 17th, San Diego. Ooh. Home gig. Salt's if you're around, you should do that show. I'm, I, if I'm in town, I'm there. Okay, excellent. Uh, the 18th, uh, LA. The Father 21st, said. Orlando. Mm-hmm. The 22nd, Tampa. The 24th, Boston. The 28th, Charlotte. The 29th, Raleigh. Then in July, uh, July 1st, North Charleston, South Carolina. July 12th, Liberty. 13th, Columbus. Uh, 14th through 16th, Pittsburgh. 21st and 22nd, Nashville. 28th, Atlanta. That venue just got changed. That was at ASW Whiskey Exchange. Now it's at the Earl. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't affect your tickets if you read about them. Uh, August 2nd, San Jose, that's a new date that got added yesterday. Uh, 18th and 19th, Sacramento, the 23rd, Omaha, the 24th, Milwaukee, the 25th, Minneapolis. That's a venue that you introduced me to. The end. I got the big room. I, it's, I did it last year. It's a yeah. lovely room. You sold out two shows in the big room. Well, one and half the other. Okay. So, but I don't want to <laughs> miscredit. Okay. Yeah, thank you. It's a great room. It's a great room. 26th, uh, Tulsa, 27th, Oklahoma City. Uh, September, Houston, uh, or September 1st, Houston, and September uh, oh, that's all. September 1st and 2nd, Houston. There you go. More to come. Uh, that's what we got for right now. Tacoma's on sale soon. There's some other ones I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Anyways, we're here with Zoltan. That's it does right. matter. It come does matter. see this man. Thank you. We all Come see all of us. We have a rent I to saw, pay. I saw you mm-hmm, comment mm-hmm. on my dry bar, which is good because yeah, you're dry bar ro- royalty. Yeah. I, you're yeah. the king. It's you, <laughs> Upton. Yeah. Who are the king? You, Upton, uh, 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 Shane Alan, the Tattoo Guy? Shane the Tattoo Guy, which is not his official name, but yeah. we've, we've dubbed him that. Yeah. And uh, who else? Jeff Allen? Jeff Allen. Uh, Leanne, originally. Yeah. But yeah, you uh, would... Um, who else have been the big ones? The big, big ones. Cam? Um, Cam the Comic? He, was he had a good one. Yeah. Yeah. He had a, he, he's got a lot of views as well. Yeah. Yeah, Dry Bar has been really helpful. It's good. Uh, they're very nice, but they don't treat you any different. They still treat me like I've never done one. <laughs> <laughs> <Are you? laughs> they're very sweet, but like uh, they're they're about treating everyone equally, no matter how many drivers yeah. you've done. Well, that that's probably where like a Netflix. lot of our guests have yeah. heard of you. Mm-hmm. Like our first Patreon question, and I'll get to this. We'll have one at the end too. Is someone asked, "How's Jessica doing?" Is that a oh, is that a loaded question? No, Jessica's okay. doing wonderful. She uh, lives with my ex wife, and uh, she's doing great. Yeah. She's happy, healy, fat, and meowing. And meowing. Well. Do you get mm-hmm. video? Do mm-hmm. you see? Do you get visitation? How does that work? It's shared custody. Sh- <laughs> I guess I'm is sorry, what, that's what you would so say. Funny. It's hilarious. It's funny to, to think say the about cat, cat had to go to court and yeah, say, "Put your paw on your." <laughs> <laughs> Who you want to live with? <laughs> I'm sorry to make light of your divorce. No, but shared custody of a cat is just a funny concept. It's a hilarious concept, and it's not. It wasn't like uh, it wasn't like a court setting, like the end of Air Bud, where they both had <laughs> the rolled up toilet paper, like not toilet paper. Rules the don't newspaper. say basketball can't play it, or dog can't play basketball, exactly. or whatever it may be. That's so yeah. funny. So it was. It wasn't like it was that, but yeah, yeah we got it figured out. It's yeah. very simple. Run to your own. It's very simple. Yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta. Re- you gotta do. Remember the cat. This is for the cat. This is, you got to put your differences aside for the good of the cat. The cat first. This, this is for the fur, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is similar in the sense that, like, our cat got diagnosed with anxiety, and we're like, mm-hmm. does it go see a little kitty therapist? Oh, wow. What is it? Like, what do you... It's just funny when you put terms that you're familiar with with humans onto a cat that mm-hmm. you're not... You're like, well, we what do I... We this cat trauma. Yeah. Do we do... Does it's, it do cat yoga? Does it's it need middle-aged. cat breathing exercises? And what is it, how do you get a cat to calm down? <laughs> I've never heard of cat anxiety. Yeah. Well, it do, it is a cat from trauma. Yeah. <laughs> it did so, come from um, it had we childhood. rescued it from okay. under a shed. Yeah. That was its birth story. One of the big things that we told that to We're the saviors. Get it, to get yeah. it to yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. who's safe to? Uh yeah. one of the <laughs> <laughs> this is a Bible joke. Where that cat's Boaz? Uh, Andy would like that. Uh, it's too specific. It's so stupid. We're that cat's kinsman redeemer. It's so stupid. Uh, I don't understand anything. Yeah, I'm into it. dumb. So, I'm so yeah. glad you didn't. It makes me like I you more. Than, uh, <laughs> who makes him the kinsman slayer then? Oh gosh, <laughs> the older cat. Uh, no, it's it is like one of the big things was like, hey, you guys have to like stop running and screaming Spazzing at the cat. Out. Like, yeah. yeah don't, that's not a good environment for this cat. Some cats can handle that. Like, right. he freaks out with the vacuum. Yeah, yeah, yep. He's, yeah. like, hissing and, like, spazzing, yeah. and you're, just like, 
pet little donut hole. He's a nice cat. The, yep. the vet literally told me he has to be happy here. <laughs> I know. We got told we were bad cat owners. He was like, do you, pl-? the cat was like, the vet was like, do you play with him? And I was like, oh, it's a lot of fun at home. <laughs> that's that's exactly what it's like when you go to the vet. The oh, vet just gosh. makes you feel like a horrible cat parent. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Every question, like, yeah. We, oh yeah, we, <laughs> only wet food. Ooh. All of those. <laughs> All of yeah. those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Emma and I had to take Miso to the vet because it was doing like a weird cough. Yeah. And which is already hard anyway because when it like He's Emma, the, the really hairy one. No, 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 the other one, one, the the, the gray one, the Mm -hmm. sleek gray one, Miso, Uh and uh, she was doing like a cough, and Emma's like, is 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 she sick? And it's hard to tell with a cat. Cats always look kind of sick. Yeah, you know. Well, they got (laughs) hair hair balls and yeah, Yeah, they always look like they're kind of. They're like, I'm not great. Yeah. 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 (laughs) And so a week a week later, we finally took her to the vet, and every question, it's just I don't have the answer to. But you can't say I don't know because right. then you just look like a neglectful cat parent. Mm-hmm. So they're like, "Has she been eating?" I'm like, "We don't eat together." Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. Have you been sitting down for meals together and have, asking thoughtful icebreakers and asking how their yeah, day no was? Tech. And yeah, uh-huh. asking yeah. if they're being bullied by the other cats at school or. <laughs> If there if there's any we got, pressure, we got if they our, have any cats making bad decisions at their friend group, we got the cat a water fountain. Oh, the running one. Yeah, 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 yeah the running one. Yeah. that's very high end. That's very nice. Yeah, I know. I, I, they want a second litter box, but every yeah. is not, it the cat, not the cat, not the cat, the kids. Oh, the, 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 the vet. vet does. Yeah. And oh, I, okay. No, the cats, cats aren't demanding like, it. They're not oh, striking. Okay. <laughs> but our cats. We are won't eat your. We'll stop eating your plastic if you get. Well, because our cats strike. Mushy, the fluffy one. Yeah. yeah. Like, if she's upset, she'll start peeing in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's in the sink. Yeah, yeah, I, that is the... helpful. Our cats pee on clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I yeah. think that means they're complaining. <laughs> that's that's know, their complaint. But, we were told listen. the opposite, that it means they miss you. Which oh. it's is like also a, a complaint. Yeah, I guess that they're saying that we travel well, too much. Yep. pretty much we're like, we got to board you guys because we can't handle you. And you know, when I got into stand-up comedy, I didn't think that I that it, my wife and kids would be fine with me traveling. The cats would be bad. <laughs> my cats have trauma. I was worried it'd be, it's a literal cats in the cradle. <laughs> it's the actual cats upset here. But They're, we know that one of the instances of trauma was when we got our flooring done in June. Ah, uh, you can't and change the And the, the flooring guys yeah. were like, we'll work around you and your cats. Yeah. And then they moved our whole house yeah. to the backyard and we had to leave. Because they were demoing the floors. Yeah. Where did the cats go? They just they kind just of existed them. around the house and le- slept Those inside. Poor yeah, cats. Yeah. They I thought know. you left and I their know. house was we turning go... into under the shed again. I, I know. And <laughs> then we, we would came come home. see them for like a half an hour come each day. And like, see them. you guys. Oh, and, that's a bummer. And then, I mean, we were displaced. Right. So, like, they were too. Like, yeah. every day we added another day onto the hotel. Yeah. You know? Wow. And, and so then, yeah, we came home. We all slept on the back room on air mattresses, yeah. on our mattresses on the floor, and our cat meowed at us the whole night. I know. I he know. was so, that it was, was a, that's the anxious one. I felt so, bad. I see. I, I mean, it bad. all makes yeah. sense. Now. I know. It's all yeah. coming together. It's our so, fault. It's so our we over grooms and he pees on everything. Yeah. So we'll board him when we go on trips now. The, I, I, I think I told you, you know, Steve Rogers, the yeah, comedian? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did a gig with him at a college that, uh, I invited him to come down and do with me, and it was like one of those good-paying colleges, and yeah, it was actually a nice gig. And I was like, "Hey, come down!" And uh, it was like a seven, eight-hour. Well, no, it, right? yeah, it was like Virginia, and yeah. he was coming. He was mm-hmm. like, "I'm gonna drive because he's in New York," and it was a weird small, you know, those colleges, yeah. you know, middle like, of nowhere. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, there's not an airport within two nope. two hours. Yeah, and we get there, and he and he called me. He's like, "Hey, just so you know, like, I had to bring my cat. I've never met Steve Rogers. We've never <laughs> we've." We've texted a little. <laughs> Our initial meeting was he brought the cat on the road with him wow. to the no, hotel, and it was not. one of those hairless cats. No. <laughs> and he had could, to give it shots, He had to right? give it shots because it had just had surgery. It had just had a procedure. And so, <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> seven hours. He had the kennel and the shots. Oh, he's such wow. a little sweetheart of a man. Oh, a good guy. he's a good guy. But but it's a very funny road meeting. It's so stressful. And he, he gave me a high compliment. He goes, he's, you seemed like the type comedian that wouldn't get mad about this. And I was like, you are right about that. And you are right that there are some old road dogs. Like, what the heck is this? <laughs> cat. You're when I started a- comedy in the 80s, you didn't bring a cat on the road. <laughs> you never bring a cat on the road. What are you talking Leave about? Home. Yeah. <laughs> How are we supposed to go to the bar with a cat? Exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Supposed to bring a hooker back to the room. Can't be a cat in here. Hairless cat, uh, yeah, no yeah, yeah. less. It's a hairless cat's cat. Cat's gonna do my cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Get into my cocaine and cat's gonna shoot my gun. Oh my gosh, that happened. Remember that photographer in LA? Got the into the dog. Cat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog ate his br- weed, weed brownie. Yeah. That's on him. Yeah. yeah. And then he was at the vet all day. It was, yeah. Is it pretty He funny. found out that his dog was not a chill high. <laughs> wow. now, now his dog is anxiety. Yeah, exactly. He's he like, almost missed a photo shoot because wow. of the dog and the weed brand. Yeah, so yeah. Jessica's doing well. Um, She's doing great. <laughs> okay, uh, did you, uh, you're a football fan, and but mm-hmm. we, th- this is like a week and a half out of it. We had like the, the most beautiful Super Bowl scenario where you just sit down and you don't care who wins. Yep. It's an unbelievable thing. It's the best way to enjoy the game. It's perfect, right? Yeah. Because Steelers have been to lots of Super Bowls. Yep. Win or lose, that's not like a fun party for you, right? I don't. If the Steelers are in the Super Bowl, I watch the game by myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fun hang. Dustin if the paces Steelers are in the Super and Bowl. stands and claps really loud. If yeah, I get pretty hyped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. In like uh, that kind of competition, Seahawks have been to three yeah. Super Bowls. They've won one. The actual enjoyment level of the game was the same yep. until the end. Yeah, you know, you're. It's not a pleasurable experience. It's not fun. Yeah, I'd rather my team lose. I'd rather them not even make the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, because then you get to enjoy all the games. I'm like, these are great games. Because you're on the road. Yeah, nail biters. Oh, yeah. Ooh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There's excellent. nothing like the road when you're like, well, oh, my gosh, it's playoff Saturday. It's wild card Saturday. And I got a hotel. And the game TV. starts at 1230. <laughs> the best. The best. I don't have to find a coffee shop. I'm going to go down to the lobby, get some beers. It's going to be a party. <laughs> I'm going to be real tired at my show tonight. Yep. There's going to be a party. Of one in in room ten yeah. twenty five. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, really, what I wanted to talk about the Super Bowl though is what was our thoughts, the collective thoughts, on a pregnant Rihanna performing at the Super Bowl. She she I I I grew a lot. I listen, not a huge surprise. I don't have a strong take on Rihanna's uh, you know work as an artist one way or the other. I know a lot of her songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mel really likes the really like the Black one for the Black Panther, Panther one. soundtrack. Yeah. It's great. Lift me Fancy. up. I yeah. Think. yeah, really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but after that, she didn't do I, that one. I I I like that she <laughs> did the. Did you see? Oh, she said like there's going to be a very special guest at the Super Bowl. Yeah, she said that ahead of time, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, "Who's it going to be? Who's oh, going to?" Oh, and it was her. And it, it was, was her baby. baby. See, but you don't like that. I don't. I didn't know she said that. Yeah, <laughs> you see, as a dad, yeah, I'm like, like you have to Google is Rihanna pregnant. That's yeah. so funny. And then you can I've, find I, out. <laughs> <laughs> the entire. I was at a Super Bowl party, and all the women were talking about this special guest, even while she's pregnant and dancing. Yeah. they're like, maybe it's Jay Z, maybe well, it's yeah. Eminem. It could be a post-pregnant body, you know, like. Right. So that's why. No, it was, no, but but like, they. But is he's, she pregnant or is she just had a baby? Which is right. both are true. Right, I mean, right. She did just but have he was a baby. saying that everyone was waiting around, going, First. "Who's the special guest going to be?" Exactly. Who's she the teased celebrity? it. Who's going to? Yeah. But you seem disappointed that it wasn't an actual celebrity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spice it up a bit. <laughs> imagine, imagine if uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a celebrity always... with a kid, but like, imagine. I don't know. Imagine like Kanye West was still liked, and, and, and he a, came out, and he's a, like, yeah. "There's gonna be a special guest." The year is 2016, and yeah. and and it's North. <laughs> imagine it's one of the kids, and you're right. like, "What are they?" Doing? Like, yeah, yeah. Well, they were. He with just came you. out with North and a baby Bjorn. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a celebrity's kid. I mean, look at Will Smith's kid. Every time uh, one of them show up, you're like, oh. "Look at Tom Hanks's kid." What does he I do? Don't know. Chet Hanks? I don't know him. Oh, yeah. Chet oh, wait, Hanks. he's an actor, isn't he? No? He's like a personality. He just uh, does yeah. a bunch of random... And he's always speaking in like the like Jamaican accent thing. What? It's Yeah. You, how, how, I, how am I the only one here who knows it? I don't know. He really... coined uh, White Boy Summer. He, that no was way. it. Yeah. In the summer of 2020. <gasps> It was like oh, supposed to be a... That was a dark summer yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. And he goes, this yeah. is White Boy Summer. He did not. He did. He did not. He did. Oh. That was it. Yikes. Wow. That's problematic. Yeah, um, that's not okay. But I guess even no. if you, I, it ends up if you Google Tom Hanks, there might be some problems there too. Ends up, you know, but. Googling is looked down upon. I, here's, so the revelation that she was pregnant, that Rihanna was pregnant, there's a lot to unpack there. Like, because at first I was like, she's not really moving around a lot. This isn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean the. This isn't the, the most dynamic white, performance I've ever seen. Dancers yeah, dancers were killing it. Yeah, like the puffy white coat, marshmallow. Yeah, they were folk. awesome. Yeah, yeah, they were great. And then I, I, 
as a mother, I'm like, that's first trimester tired. <laughs> that's it's in her face. Like <laughs> That's amazing. It's that's so what, hard to work first trimester because yeah. all you want to do is lay down. Yeah, that's like, what a mom. And throw up. The, like, a a yeah. true mom noticed. You didn't look at her stomach and knew she was pregnant. You at looked at her in the face eyes. in yeah. the eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so funny. But that's why I had a lot of respect for her that she did that of performance. Yeah. Because so high pressure, you know, you only get like one Super Bowl yeah. performance. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I'll do it this year. You know, like with the baby, pregnant. with the pregnancy. I mean, because. You know, you can get a nanny for the baby, yeah, or right. a night nanny or whatever. You have the money. But you have to carry that baby mm-hmm. that's in you. And that is a lot of work. Yeah. I, I mean. So, can't pawn that think, off to anyone else. Do you think else. that you can get well, a level can, of rich but anyway, now I'm gonna stop. where you just have. <laughs> do you think you can get to a level of rich where you just have people like kind of like lift your stomach up as you walk around all day and take the pressure off and like dig holes in the sand for you to put your belly in? Yeah. Is uh-huh. there a way? Is there a way I, that being rich? I used rich, a pool. Um, new, yeah, yeah. Pool floaty. Yeah, what sleep. I'm asking is, oh. is there yeah. a way <laughs> to make so much money that pregnancy can be easier? I, there is. I just don't want to get canceled. Yeah, it's the one where you where you pay someone else yeah. to do it. Right, yeah. right, right, right. No, that's yeah. a different thing though. Yeah. To make it easier on you. <laughs> no. Ah. Yeah. Is there a way? Well, yeah, probably supplements and doctors and. You know, I mean, I, I, I guess having, I was going to say house. having a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. What am I you... saying? It's all the stuff that makes normal life easier. No, but you're Someone still, cooked your meals. You're still going to throw up. You're still going to throw, gonna throw up. up. You're still going to have morning But sickness. your life would no, have been easier if you could have rung a no bell energy. and somebody put the peanut butter on those Oreos for you. That was Melissa's that pregnancy nice. snack. Yeah. If they'd have brought mm-hmm. them to you. Mo- oh, yeah, Melissa said. Melissa, pregnant Melissa was so... She would put a yeah, like a a, a floaty, a pool floaty around yeah, the belly. I'm a no, 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 on sleeper. the bed, and then put the in the thing, and she would just sleep like that. <laughs> I and I don't sleep, sleep the whole night, your... but I like to start on my stomach and then turn to my and side. Then, yeah. So yeah. yeah, so and this was like before Amazon. I had to get them in the summer. Yeah. Stock up those pool yeah. uh, donuts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. While I was while I was leading summer youth camp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a sight we were. Did you steal them from the camp? <laughs> Should have been. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. If David robbed Save from the couple. temple. Save you know, a couple bucks. Sorry, another Bible joke. There's going to be more coming. <laughs> uh, well, it's it's, it's impressive much. that mm-hmm. Rihanna did the singing and then the dancing pregnant. Because mm-hmm. like, remember when Axl Rose broke his ankle and just sat in the throne? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She could have done that. Yeah. <laughs> she could have done that and just sat in a that throne. That is true. Yeah. And she was up on a platform dancing. Yeah. She was up high. Up she was pretty high, high so too. High. Yeah. Can you imagine the insurance on that show? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I read insurance that they don't two. pay yeah. the performers, but they pay their production costs. Right. You know, which, of course, is And insurance. her streams obviously go way up. Yeah. And yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of promo- promotion. <laughs> That's so funny that you can be Rihanna, one of the like highest performing artists of the last Household two name. decades yeah. and they and you still have some shady people going we'll pay you an exposure <laughs> that's we'll, so dirty we'll get Never your name ends. out there so the dirty. nfl didn't pay her the nfl on fox get a paycheck. <laughs> that's so laughable and she still had to say yes well, that's it makes, crazy it, yeah. it makes sense because the nfl just what like six months ago acknowledged concussions <laughs> yeah. and they're like oh yeah those headaches meant something yeah <laughs> anyways <laughs> Get Tua back out there. <laughs> Get Tua back. Weekend and Bernie's Tua back out there. He's <laughs> fine. He's fine. It is. It is absolutely spectacular. And I did. I did find myself wanting to know she was pregnant ahead of time because then I felt bad that I judged her performance for being a lack of energy because I didn't know. I was like, man, Rihanna's she's gonna lost a step or two. No, she's gained two feet in her stomach. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, that's. Well, and I wonder if the adrenaline, you know, performing at the Super Bowl, yeah. but also being super tired at the beginning of your pregnancy. That performance, that, that the performance. The intersection of those two. To perform at unique. the Super Bowl yeah. that well, the Rihanna's performance at the Super Bowl was so good that Amazing. I would not judge her for having a drink afterwards. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just to take the edge off. You gotta yeah, celebrate. Yeah. Well, you I bet the baby wanted one yeah. at that point. You the baby can't. was nervous. The baby yeah. was having a cigarette, you know, <laughs> in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, umbrella again. <laughs> Showbiz. <laughs> the baby's already tired of the hits. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, uh, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have done it, man. You Platform, mentioned dancing. You mentioned uh the insurance on that. So I saw via Twitter 
that you're it, it, are there only certain months you can apply enrollment for insurance? Months. I yeah. tried to enrollment get health months. Ins- mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I, I thought remember it was that. just encouraged then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like they were doing hey, it like a, a good promo. Time. Oh, yeah, yeah. like Honda yeah. days yeah. or whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like like yes, furniture is on sale on President's Day, but that's not the only day of the yeah. year you can <laughs> you buy can, a couch. Yeah, for, <laughs> you get a deal. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Long weekend. And I called it was two weeks ago, I called to get insurance and they said no. Like, Kaiser Permanente is like, it's not now. Like, we can't. And I'm like, I'm not. Uh, I don't. Uh, you just got to risk it for 10 months. I have money. And, <laughs> and they're like, it's I not wanna, good. I spend my money. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I got a pain in my testicle. I got to get this checked out. Is that what it was? It was. Oh, I, have no. a, I have a toothache in my left testicle <laughs> that comes every now and then. And, and I'm like, I should get this. And it's, and I'm a typical guy, so this pain is not new. I've had it since 2017. <laughs> And I'm like, how? What year is uh, yeah. it? Yeah, I think I should get that checked out. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, you yeah. can't. And then I told them, they're like, well, what's another nine months? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess I'll write it out. Kaiser, <laughs> it's, it's bizarre. I don't know why we're treating health insurance like a pumpkin spice latte, yeah. to where yeah, so you can only get it uh, between seasonally. this month. Yeah. Yeah, it's a seasonal yeah. item. <laughs> the Kaiser McRib. <laughs> it only, it's only certain times of the year you can get it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that makes it special. I was shocked. I was blown away on the phone but the 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 truth is they snuck me in and i ended up getting insurance but yeah. only because technically the pandemic is still on oh. yeah so if it technically mm-hmm. wasn't mm-hmm. still the you pandemic the pandemic like that's the, what we call it on the this pl- yes the pandemic <laughs> so you guys at the capital for the memorial yeah you're in east county right now yeah, yeah, you're right, right on the border as you know <laughs> yeah. where's my hat uh, but are we still the, in a state of emergency I don't yeah. think so, but okay. because it's technically still the pandemic, okay. I was still able to get Good. insurance. But if that yeah. wasn't the case, they told me no like 10 times. I'm like, well, that can't be. And they're like, well, let's figure it out. And they figured it out. But they You're said like, I'm no. A comic. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come yeah. on, guys. I will tweet at you. Yeah. If you don't do this, I'll come up with an it's embarrassing tweet. Ridiculous. Like, imagine if you wanted to buy an iPhone and they're like, and someone was like, in February? <laughs> you can't get an iPhone in February? Come on. Everybody yeah. knows. It reminds me there's a. There's one comedy club booker who only lets you send avails in August. You can only mark Ridley. That's the window. Yep. There's yep. one, and he's like, and it works great for him. Right. And he's like, I don't have to book any other time of the year, mm-hmm. but it shouldn't That's be nice. that way with health insurance. No. <laughs> uh, well, congrats on getting covered. Yeah, yeah you yeah. did it. It starts in March, <laughs> March 1st. Yeah, All right, so that's so when an I'm, appointment yeah. March next I'm glad week. you got it, too, because yeah. if you didn't, you would just be so constantly thinking. I, I bet, okay, let me ask you. My parent raised by single parent and then your mom who uh came from not a lot of money Mm -hmm. and uh single parent there so we have both from your mom and my dad a lot of like are you insured like that's what our parents always do you have insurance oh we just want you to have insurance my mom like when we went full-time as comics or Mm -hmm. you know freelance artist She's like, but what about insurance? That was yep. like, you know, so like, did your mom think yeah, about yeah, yeah. that? Like, do you oh, do you have insurance? Do you or or is that like an important thing? My dad would talk about it all the time. Well, as a union guy too, right? Yeah, that's all they got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the perk of being in the union. Exactly. My yeah. mom would bring it up, but she would. But my mom, I was also raised to like never go to the doctor. Yeah, because yeah, it costs yeah, yeah. money. Well, not yeah. just it costs money. They're going to tell you bad news over there. <laughs> that's, that's where the bad... Avoidance. Yeah. Avoidance. yeah. Yes. And yes. so that's why Emma and Emma's like a, a bit of a hypochondriac where mm-hmm. like... And mm-hmm. I'm on the other side where I've been ignoring testicle pain for six <laughs> years. And uh, and she's like, I think my wrist is clicking. Like, and then so, oh, yeah. and so we kind of yeah. balance each other out. Like, mm-hmm. I should be a little more like her, and she should be a little more like me. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I'm trying to not avoid things, and like, I'm like, let's go get this checked you're, out. And you're doing. You said you both have dentist appointments today. Today, yeah. That's also, right. no, and the cat. And the cat yeah. got taken care of first. That's how things <laughs> work at the house. Or just yeah. the vet. <laughs> the cat got taken care of first a week mm-hmm, ago, mm-hmm. and now it's our turn. And, We're going and to get And you cleaning. have an appointment tomorrow too. That's Isn't it hilarious that <laughs> someone's probably done a bit on this? That it's hilarious that like humans have like we got a dentist guy, we got a doctor, we got a back guy, we got uh-huh. someone pregnant. The vet. <laughs> someone pregnant. All animals, what? all parts. <laughs> yes. All, the vet has every part of every animal. You got it they covered. Have to do so they much. got. They have. Yeah. They. They have. A vet has to know so much more than a doctor. Yeah. Way Not more than a doctor. A spe- well, except maybe like an ER doctor. 
Yeah, they, I guess, I guess that, just generalists. I guess that's what it is. The vet yeah. is an ER doctor. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There's no specialist. There's no cat chiropractor. There's no like, oh yeah, I know the cat's spine and the vertebrae right. and this this, mm-hmm. this happens. There's no filling of cat cavities. Those teeth just come out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like you got all your teeth knocked out in a car accident yeah. and they got to take out the remnants. Yeah. They'll yeah, do yeah. that at the ER. Yeah. If you need them mm-hmm. to, but they're not going to like make it all. You're not going to come out with veneers. Yeah. <laughs> cat veneers would be nice. That will yeah. be next. Cat veneers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm waiting mm-hmm. for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so your mom just turned 60, right? Yeah. She turned 60 February 2nd. Okay. That's awesome. And mm-hmm. I was super pumped for. And it the part that scared me is this was the first birthday that she hated. Like she Ooh. hate she's not a fan of being sixty. Yeah. Every other, and that scares me because she's our parents are leading the charge for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she's mm-hmm. like the first year say, I don't want to be sixty. And yeah. she was really bummed about it. And mm. then after dinner we went and watched Mrs. Doubtfire. Which is Just one of fine. her favorite yeah. movies, yeah. Uh-huh. and then at the end of the movie, you know, sad. they're in the. It's yeah. a sad movie. It's a sad movie. <laughs> but yeah. at the end of the it came movie, came out two years after my parents' divorce. <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> Were you just waiting for your dad to come back in drag? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, They're gonna work this way. Well, remember at the end. Yeah, at the end that, in Doubtfire, he scene? looks. You know, the, he Doubtfire looks into the camera and gives like a speech about like it's okay when they get divorced and sometimes they get back together and right. sometimes they don't. It's like a Mr. But we need to remember moment. is that they look. Uh, 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 right in the yeah. I just want to go play You're soccer with my TV? dad and, and dress as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I don't think you could make that movie today, but I well, no, you can't make it for multiple reasons. Uh, one you of just them watched it. Is right. Yeah, I just watched it. You can, you can. Re- it's available on Amazon Prime. It's great. Yeah, uh, but we watched it, and then we loved the movie. We laughed a lot. Yeah. And at the end, when he's in court, when he gets caught that he was in fact right, Mrs. Right. Doubtfire, right. the judge goes, and amongst other things, you 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 pretended to be a sixty year old woman. And there's like a there's a pause in the living room, and then my mom goes, "She's not sixty, she's (laughs) eighty. And it's just like like, birthday ruined. Yeah, she was like that late. Like there's Uh, no way that that's that's sixty because I'm not. I'm sixty, and that's old. Because he had like a dress on. Yeah, she was just like a seventy five years. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. and it just ruined. My mom was already sad, and it just added right at the end of the movie. You had to watch that first. Yeah, I know. That's that's what youth does, though. Melissa, I am always worried about internet safety. Yeah, especially with our kids. Especially for you. I'm worried about what (laughs) you are looking at, which is why I want to get Bark put on your phone. Oh, boy. Your phone, uh, (laughs) your laptop, your pager. I need to get get Bark on your pager. Yeah. And your Bluetooth. Uh Mm -hmm. Yeah, the little one in your (laughs) ear. Apple CarPlay. Uh, as many of you guys know, uh, we are parents. As many of you know, you all know we are parents. Guys, we're parents. We're parents. And <laughs> yeah. uh, internet safety is, I don't know if there's a thing that parents think about more anymore. It I mean, is it so is, important it is and the, so hard to keep track of. Yeah. And thankfully, insert Bark Technologies. And then a hero comes along with, with Bark strength. Technologies. <laughs> To monitor your kid's phone, and there's a new Bach phone, too. I didn't hit that. I missed that one, but before that, I was crushing that. That, that was, was good. pretty that good. Was good. Mm-hmm. Bark Technologies is a friend of the pod, and we love them so much. There's a couple services that we've used with them over the year. The phone, um, the monitoring of your kid's phone, where they send you alerts and what they're looking at, and they have mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. levels and things, whatever it may be. It's fantastic. You're not spying on your kid. There's just certain things where Bark goes, hey, you might want to see this and they show Check it to you this and even better simplify your life ladies and gentlemen bark has a new phone that's right and it doesn't look like a kid's phone no it's black no, no. it's yeah, sleek yeah, yeah. phone technology is improving and this phone grows with your kid Aww. so maybe maybe your kiddo is you know kind of inching yeah. into like yeah. an instagram account yeah. Or wants to be a YouTuber. Yeah. And you want to give him some training wheels to get there. We recently let our kid get on Instagram and Mm -hmm. it was because of Bark. That's right. We let our kid, because we're less concerned and because he's 15 and we're done parenting. But. (laughs) So tell them, but we also, you know, we don't choose uh, any sponsor for the pod. We like sponsors that 
make sense and we Mesh use in our us. lives and Bark mm-hmm. is one of them and the new Bark phone is something that we're really excited about as well as Bark technology is what we use constantly and we have some promo codes and we have some details. Hit them, Melissa. Give them those sweet, sweet details. All right. So you can manage screen time. You can block websites and apps. Mm-hmm. You can monitor text, email, YouTube and 30 apps and platforms. And he's excited. Um, you can get child psychologist advice and tips, mm-hmm. even ways to approach kids when they mm-hmm. um, mess up. So how do they so, sign up and how do they save some money, Melissa? Let me tell you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you click on the link in the show notes and enter don't make me, mm-hmm. all one word, don't make me, mm-hmm. you are going to get seven days of a free trial Boom. for the Bark Premium subscription. And? As well as 15%, 15% off for off the, the lifetime life. of your subscription, baby. That's right. Boom. And if you're listening to this episode in February, which I think you are, uh-huh. we also have a deal on the new Bark phone. $200 off the new Bark phone. Boom. Do it. Do it Everybody, now. Bark Technologies. Keeping your kids safe online. I yeah. told, okay, so I've been tell, telling you, you know that song, that seven years old song? Once I was seven years yeah, yeah. old by like Lucas it. Graham. All right, yeah. it was a big hit a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. The ages of this song, he starts at seven. Once I was seven, all right? And yeah. then I was, um, I think, 11. He goes for like seven, eleven, or and then he goes to like twenty. Hmm. All right. Yeah. And then he goes to thirty. So he goes like yeah. he has a kid age, and he's twenty, and then he's thirty, and then he goes to sixty. Oh. And then yeah. he's and dead. And he's like, my dad got sixty-one. <laughs> and then he's Remember dead. Life before so it goes life? Yeah. twenty. You go little kid, twenty, sixty, dead. That's it. That, it's crazy. And, that, that, and the middle-aged parents go, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. You just missed. 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> 40 years of life. And then once you're over 60, because we're at the age now where 60 isn't like a, a full, uh, it's not as abstract as I'd like it to be. Because nope. I, because we're sneaking up on 40. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we were joking about this yesterday. 40s is tough because 40 will be the very first time in your life that no one will for refer to you as young. The only reason, the only way you're considered young in your 40s is if you die in your 40s. Yes. <laughs> and the, it's, it's, that's it. That's all, you. It's, instead of like, oh, he's so young. It's like, oh, he was so young. That's all. <laughs> yeah. When you're in your 40s, the only people that might refer to you as young are old as hell. They're the oldest people like, that ever that, And that's like being called yeah. in shape by a fat person. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What do you know? <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. And so and yeah. it hurts. It hurts, yeah. Well, yeah, because, and you don't want like, you're talking about your parents like leading the charge. Yeah. It, you you want your parents alive because they're kind of like your death buffers. Like, you, you know what I mean? You're, yeah, 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 you're like I don't You guys in death. I don't <laughs> I don't like. I can't. I don't. Want, I, I don't want to lose you yet because that just means I'm next. Mm-hmm. I'm the next thing in line. Uh, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, best case scenario. Best case scenario. Best case scenario. Yeah. The best my life can go is that I die next. Anyways, uh, Public Square Coffee is just <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's a bummer. He always tries to write death jokes, and I'm like, I know you'll get the crowd to give it to you. Well, it's hard, but, but I'm like, nah. well, I, it's not even that right now. <laughs> it's that last night our like our like little thermostat stopped working, so it got real cold, and yeah. uh, which means I was sleeping amazing. I love an ice box. <laughs> Freeze me, baby. No. I want to sleep outside, and uh, and so I was sleeping amazing, and that it got so cold that Mel woke up, which woke me up. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. what you do when you wake up at three or four is you either go back to sleep immediately, right. or you're like, oh, I'm gonna die in sometime soon. That's, so this is fresh to last night's thoughts. Not, yeah. this isn't an abstract concept. This is what I was, I was thinking about this old back of mine. I know. Going, well. I saw the stories. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks. You know what the worst thing like is? It's when when you hurt your back. Yeah, and you're not an athlete. Yeah, it's funny to everybody. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you said it's an invisible injury. Yeah. Right. And that, like, well, you're not yeah. on a, on crutches. You know. No, but it's it's like, humiliating. Guys, I can't do anything. It's absolutely, and yeah. it hurts nine out of ten bad. Yeah. Like the lower mm-hmm. back spasm. Like I, it's like a nerve thing. So it just sends you to the ground, and yeah, it's literally like. <laughs> Like I'm making that noise. Wow! Like it's you're uh, biting a sweatshirt, like yeah, when yeah, yeah. kids were around, whimpering, crying yeah. wow. on the ground. 
When and someone would get in the shower, you would start yelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of buffered the noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that that was just that was just because it comes in waves. That's I compare it to like it's not this, and I know it's not like, but it is like a contraction. No, I that can, it kind of comes. I can compare it to. It feels like you're having a baby coming out of your like, butt. Wow. Is what it feels. It's just right well, and there. I had just, back labor, so. And it's yeah. you're like crying, and it's so because everyone's like, "What happened?" You're like, mm-hmm. "I lifted the bed last night." That's that what, what it you was. did. Yeah. Well, and then we, you did do some roller coasters. With Might Blair. have been that. There's Could have been anything. Couple options. The problem. Yeah. The, it, you know mm-hmm. what the issue is? It's a thirty-eight-year-old back. Mm. That's and the, the issue. And the sitting for travel. Airplanes. Know? Airplanes yeah. don't help Airplanes it. And cars. Could have been anything. Yep. Just mm-hmm. could have been. That sucks. Uh, that yeah. Sucks. But you are right that people loved. If you if it's you don't, funny. it is funny. It, it is, is funny, very funny. But not I had one you. guy respond to my story. <laughs> I don't know if we could put this in the pod. Uh, I had, I, I posted it and I was like, uh, I was like laying down next to you because you were driving. Yeah. <laughs> he just he responded, "Beta liberal." <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, you and know, he didn't even follow me. He must have seen some other thing, right? Uh, like some other clip of mine, yeah. And then went to my Your stories, story? and it made him mad because I'm like, I have a cool job, but I wear glasses and right. like comic books, and so he's like, "Beta liberal got hurt. Let his wife drive." <laughs> A, a, you know what? A real patriot would have sucked down some yeah. Joe Rogan pills and would have driven that truck himself. All right, and you were missing in pain, making yeah. you sit in the back for yeah, some yeah, reason. Yeah. You got yeah. one of those trans backs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What are your back's pronouns, huh? <laughs> My back's pronouns are. <laughs> <laughs> Not in pain. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> That's a um, bummer. The internet is so mean. So mean. But if you met them in real life, they'd be nice. You know. You know what's funny is we were at an SDSU game one time, and we a football game, and I had a guy oh, yeah, recognize me. Yeah. And he came, which reminds me of a story I got to tell you right after this. Uh, recognize me, and he goes, "Hey, you're Dustin Nickerson, right?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." That's nice to meet you. He goes, "Um." I, he goes, I said something really mean and stupid to you one time. Wow. On Instagram. You, on Instagram, and you were really kind and gracious in your response. And I go, oh, cool, yeah. And he goes, uh, and I was like, yeah, I'm, it's nice to meet you. And I go, I got some upcoming shows coming up. And he's like, yeah, I don't care about that. But wow. <laughs> You're like, uh, buy like, me I a s- beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, Give me a drink or something. Come yeah. on. Wait, also, that's not an apology. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was shocked he admitted it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Well, like, people don't, it's like when people, are, and I bet you get this a lot, people like, they'll, you, Modern Mail was huge. Right. And I bet a lot of people will respond to you being like, he is this way, not not realizing that you are running the page. It's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they'll be like, he's funny, or he's, they won't call you Zoltan, or they won't say you. No. They're not, you're very abstract. And yeah. so when you do respond, they're like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. this isn't what I thought this yeah. would be, you know? Yeah, yeah. But you're trying not to respond. I'm getting better about getting out of the comments, and you know why I'm better at it now? Why? Because I get more comments. It's really hard to stay out of the comments mm. when the video got a comment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's so good. true. That's good. That's so true. I'm trying to stay out of it too. And I'm trying to understand, and this is going to sound douchey, but it also makes it feel better. Yeah. It's like once it starts get once a video of yours starts getting a lot of views and they start responding like you said, like he is blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's not you. You're no longer you anymore. You on the internet mm. is now an entity. Yes, they're, it's mm. like they're crapping mm. on Adidas, mm. and you're like, yeah. Sometimes Adidas sucks. Yeah, you know, and yeah. so yeah. and that kind of makes me feel better. That about household it. Like, name yeah. Adidas. Yeah. yeah, they don't mm-hmm. mean me, Zoltan. No. They don't mean me with the Honda yeah. Fit and the two cats and a fiance and a and a lovely mother who hates yeah. that she's sixty. Yeah, they mean that guy on Instagram. Yeah. doing half a joke about a stick shift. Yeah, you know, yeah. With a bunch of graphics on it with a bunch of graphics. Yeah, on yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Like, that's. <laughs> That's yeah. what they're talking about. Yeah. Not, not, not me. me. Not me. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. good. That yeah. is really healthy. You also delete negative comments, and I, I do, it. and I do now too. Yeah, because you said something you just that I think that I, then. I, I go, because um, it was like an old like, like masochist thing in me. I'm like, just take it. Just take it. <laughs> why? This is why. And then you, <laughs> you said to something, it. you go, like, I get to choose what my internet experience is like. Yes. There's no rules to this. Nope. There's no breaking the rules. There's no rule book. There's no hall of fame for the internet. That, you know, I'm, I'm going to lose uh, eligibility or anything like that. You just go, I don't like that. Gone. I totally get why, like, dictators kill writers. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, burn books. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> like, I don't have the power yeah. to kill Jeff in Iowa, yeah. but I can delete your comments. That's so funny. You're like, I want to live in a country that has a free press. Yeah. But if I was in charge, I wouldn't want it. No. <laughs> yeah. No. If I was in charge and some, like, uh, writer at the Times was yeah. like, blah, 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 I'm like, well, you're yeah, not like, for long. Yeah. 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 yeah, it know? is so, mm-hmm. um, there was a, um, there was a, uh, I think it was a senator in Pennsylvania mm-hmm. just resigned and checked himself into like a place, a facility for depression. Oh, yeah, and a I, big ogre. Yeah. Fetterman? Yeah. And yeah. I was telling, well, people will be like, not funny. This guy's an idiot. They'll right. say that to us. Poli- they'll say you're a bad person as mm-hmm. a politician. There yeah, is no separation. No. There's no. And yeah, they, anything goes. Yeah, right. they'll say it to each other, and that's like, like on stage. So yeah. we, you are right that we can just be like, ah, you know what? Because when something goes like big, big, mm-hmm. it does get outside of your fan base, yep. and they don't know who you are. And mm-hmm. on things like TikTok, sometimes I'm like, I don't even think these people know that this is stand up comedy, right? Because they don't, they don't even know what they're consuming. They're, they've mm-hmm. never viewed. Comedy. They just yeah. saw yeah. like a dog go down a slide, yeah. mm-hmm. and then some grandma talk about how mi- much she misses her husband. Yeah, and you know, then somebody like take a fall on a surfboard, and now you're like, hey, friggin' seatbelt laws are stupid, <laughs> and they, yeah. it's like a speech to them, and yeah. they have no idea. And you're like, okay, is this this? It's an issue of how it's consumed you know what stand up on instagram and tiktok is like do you remember when we used to do bar shows where the audience didn't know that a show was about bar hijack shows yeah Yeah. those hijack where they were there to have a beer and watch a game yeah and they just turn the game off yeah and then they're like here's zoltan or dustin yeah and then now you're like hi that's (laughs) yeah how they're experiencing tiktok except they're mm-hmm. privately able to. Hey, I'm here to yeah. watch Wisconsin Duke. Yeah, I want to watch <laughs> you talk about your mom. Yeah, <laughs> and instead of so personal too, it's not like music in the background. You're no. like you talk over. Ah yeah. man, my kids' grades and stuff. It is <laughs> hard. Is this guy talking about? Insurance? <laughs> it is. It is so hard to vibe with stand up <laughs> in the background. What's this guy over there talking about his Honda Fit? Yeah, <laughs> I hate this loser. Guy. <laughs> loser. <laughs> This guy's over here talking about clothing racks. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. That's what the internet is. That's why it's mean. But I'll delete a comment. Yeah. But I'll also not look for That's it. Good. Sometimes I'll open the app and the mean comment will be there waiting for me. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, check this out, buddy. You were just silenced, you know? And yeah. it'll make me feel good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. I like that. That's smart. Yeah. I think Dustin started deleting comments yesterday. Welcome. It's pretty it's pretty yeah, new. This is fresh. Yeah. Welcome to censorship. It's not <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet. I do look at DMs though, and I I wanted to tell you this funny one. So you've been on the pod a few times, and yeah. each time I usually have a new embarrassing travel story to tell you. <laughs> there was the one the most the, the infamous mo- sweatshirt. The infamous is the sweatshirt. Yes. I took a sweatshirt yeah. off. My whole shirt came up with it, mm-hmm. just nipples free <laughs> at thirty thousand, and it got <laughs> stuck, and I couldn't get it down. And the seatbelt. I didn't take the seatbelt off first. <laughs> Idiotic, right? It's a classic. <laughs> got I also. Had the one I told you about in, in Detroit where my carry on fell down the escalator. You almost killed again. Shot out like a bullet. <laughs> and then later at, at like my three gate, in the morning. at my gate, as I was getting on the plane, the gate agent was like, You're that crazy guy that dropped his <laughs> suitcase on the plane. Yeah, you're a lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, It's four in the morning. Give me a. Su- I'm surprised this doesn't happen more, yeah. you know? But okay, so this one there happens. There signs up. Right. Watch for flying right. suitcases. I have a a black carry on, which I know is a mistake, but I my carry on broke on the road, and I was at an airport while it broke. I just had to get a new one, and that was the one, so I got it. it was and expensive. so I've been, yeah. So you got And so it. I'm. I never. I think you and I are similar. I, I'll. I hate having a carry on. I check yep. a bag all day long. It's free. It's free. You do it for free at the gate. Yeah. 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 Delta. Just, yeah. yeah, or anyone usually anyway, they'll yeah, check yeah. the the gate, right. but you know, like it's uh yeah I if I a lot of time I'm checking a merch bag anyways, yep. so just get them all out of my hands. So, but I'm flying and I have only the carry on, so I'm like okay, I got to remember again. I grab the carry on, I go up and grab the black carry on, and I'm like I've grabbed it and I'm like I have my AirPods in and I'm like four rows ahead of my row okay. where I got out and someone goes, hey buddy, you just took my bag and I was like oh gosh. And I have like an AirPod in it, so I don't hear it right away. It's like, you just took my bag. It's very aggressive. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, oh, my bad. Sorry. And the whole line has to move back. 
No, and I'm like, ah, friggin' idiot. And I'm like, I'm on Southwest because I'm not even where I have status. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm so Does sorry. Did you see a different black And I go, oh, on? I'm sorry so bad. And the guy just one of these just goes like that. Like, he didn't even say, like, he yeah, had no worries or you anything. You thought you were trying to steal his Nah, no, I was like, oh, sorry, it's yeah. the black one. I stole it. And I didn't, once I, I grabbed it, I wasn't sure about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's a new bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, mine has a bag of money in it. Scott, I, I, this is, you helped me here. We're, <laughs> uh, bag of cash, man. <laughs> This is a uh, drug deal. Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah. Come on, Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I thought it was over. And then I get a DM from a fan who was like, hey, I think you were just on my flight and took the wrong bag. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You got trolled. Man. <laughs> we don't even you don't even have anonymity anymore. Yeah, exactly. You couldn't even leave going, well, at least I'll never see those people. No, again. I had a fan think less of me. Uh had a boy Rick Moranis. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> Thanks wow. for the original take on that. Yeah, what a that's a I'm uh, sorry. Speaking of AirPods, this is an ongoing debate that we have in AirPods our uh etiquette. on this podcast. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I want to hear your take on this because how old are you? 30, I'm turning 36 this year. 36. You're turning uh-huh. 36. Mm-hmm. We're 38. Yeah. We have Gen Z kids. You have a Gen Z brother. Yes. Right? How old's your brother? He's uh, 20. He's turning 23 later this year. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does that kid have an AirPod in a lot? No. Okay. Not when I'm around. Like, when we hang out, he doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's this is like a staunch debate on this podcast mm-hmm. of proper AirPod etiquette. I'm very, like... If you're in a room with someone and there's any amount of socialization, take those out. Right. Take both of them out. Yeah. No, uh, you don't. Uh, you're just telling me that I'm not interesting in enough for you. Like you're like, hey, I I can handle you if also music. Uh, I want I want you to be. I want to I want to sound. I need a soundtrack to, you. to your boring stories. <laughs> You were, I need something to kind of spice you up. I want, you're a TikTok video with music under you, you know? Uh, It just feels to me like you're not paying attention to me. But I know that Gen Z does not think that way. And Mm -hmm. it's happening more like- In the workplace. In the workplace, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've I've checked into hotels where they have one in. Like it's, you just see Um, it more now. Flight where attendants. People, I, I did have a flight attendant one. That only happened once. Mm-hmm. What is your what? And Mel is like a little more understanding because Mel sometimes is like, it's too much. I need Sensory. to zone out. Mm-hmm. And like I'm like, well, and I'm loud, like, well, you don't love me, and you're leaving and me. When the kids are really loud and I'm trying to like put dinner on the table, I'm like, you pop one in. Driving me nuts. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, And yeah. I know it's my problem. Like they can be loud, they're kids. Right. right. But I'm like, I gotta go to my happy place like yeah to hand, that, handle the noise mom's a stressful job mm-hmm. i don't think you should do it if you're getting paid yeah you know, like if you're getting yeah. paid maybe you shouldn't have a headphone in. maybe if it's like a like a job where you don't have to talk to people right like if you're in a yeah, factory yeah, or something mat, yeah, yeah you're in the I back put yeah. some headphones on right around the i just yeah. i just started I still right grocery shop. Lift. That's what I used to do. Yeah, more beep, beep, yeah I was going to say the forklift might be the time not to do it. You hear it stop in case like, something's falling on you. I just yeah. didn't hear it. You, you have a hard dead. hat stop, on. Stop, so. stop, stop, stop. What? Yeah, stop. <laughs> o- OSHA may frown on it, but as long as you're good, I think you'll be fine. Okay. Do you? Would you take it kind of personally if somebody had an air? Like if okay. you're at home and Emma has an AirPod in while she's just like kind of talking to you. Well, how would you feel about that? Well, I mean, she does have headphones in sometimes, but she'll have both in and she doesn't talk to me. Yeah, both in to a, me is I don't want to hear yeah. from you. Is yeah. Like, One I'm working. Weird. You know, if you need me, tap. <laughs> Your or, gestures you know? are hilarious. This I'm was your working. set of AirPods. Yeah. They were, okay, I'll get and then you up. did one finger. You did too big on AirPods and too small tap on working. Me. <laughs> well, it's just like I guess secret. we just need to get headphones. Ooh. That's, Ooh. that's Ooh. it. Who bothers you more with the Air- AirPod in? The kid or Melissa? Or uh, but we've worked through it. We've talked through it, and now I understand it more. Now the kids are the most known because you're like, I bought those AirPods. Yep. And uh, and and we have we've, communicated. We've... I hate repeating rules, and that's so much of what parenting is is just saying the same thing over and over and over and i'll be like if you are not if you're you can wear them when you do the dish if you're in this living room the common space and you're like trying to chat with me i do this a lot like you know and the kids are like i'm podding up we pot up which is fine just tell me yeah you know what it is is i want you to tell me I just want you, but it seems like it's not an ongoing. This I, is my issue. I don't I have totally... any kids, but that would bother me. Yeah, because teenagers already make me feel less than. 
Mm-hmm. So I can't so like if insecure. if there was in the house and you just have pot, I'd be like, you're not better than me. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Am I not good enough? That's what I feel right. like. Yeah, which is, I mean, honestly, put it on my tombstone. Am I not? Good Am enough? I not? Good <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's weird, like with parenting, like the if you're a parent and you pick up your kids from school. Um, sometimes someone will have one AirPod in mm-hmm. and it's kind of like the phone. It's, it's right. like, would you take a phone call while walking your little kids across a, like a busy street? Yeah. Like right. you're like, get off the phone. You yeah. Know? And yeah. that's kind of how I feel with the AirPod. You're like, or if you're, if you're caring for a baby and you got an AirPod in, right. you're like, okay. Do you feel maybe not on the AirPod you know, thing, but, like, uh, but I took phone calls when I had a baby. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Sometimes you have to, yeah. you know? So what time did we start Andy? I'm sorry. Uh, that, the clock. We started at like 9.40. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're okay. Right. We got a couple, yeah, right. five, ten minutes left. So, um, yeah, okay. So, so maybe, the, maybe yeah. not on the AirPod thing, but are there, do you feel other big differences with you and your Gen Z brother? Like things that you're like, we I, just don't even, we're not in the same world. Yeah. I feel old and irrelevant yeah. in front of him. They all just, I think this happens as you naturally get older, but you just look at people younger than you and you're like, oh, I'm lame to them. Yeah. And, yeah. But they're lame to me. Because he used yes. to respect you. Yeah. Like, he used to old, look. Were you like 12 or? I was 13 when he was born. So he yeah. always like kind of looked up to me. Yeah. And then I think he hit like high school and then it was over. Right? Yeah. Yep. And then mm-hmm. now I, I, to him, I probably just look like an old man. Yeah. And Who was it? Who called us a boomer this weekend? Kinsey. Kinsey. She's, Kinsey. 30, she's 31. She's, she works for Levy. She's 31. Yeah. We she were doing yoga boomers. in the green room. And she called us boom. She said, yeah. she's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> I would be so offended. I think it's so crazy to call someone older than you. And when you're literally in the same decade as them. Yeah. But this is my theory that we talked about at length at one of the most recent episodes that the groupings are not the decade. decade. The groupings are at the end and the beginning of decades. Mm. Late 20s and early 30s are a group. Right. Late 30s and early 40s are a group. Like, I that's see. how they go. Because you're kind of in, because you know. I'm 38 now and I've concluded that I'm going to feel this way until I'm about 42, 43. And then yeah. I'll start gearing up for 50. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It, I understand that she feels that way. But I think what you said, that's the healthier way to age is to also think they're lame. Yeah. Like, not to still want to be them. No. That's the set. There's a, we talked about this. Over, there's a scene, and did you ever watch The Green Room with Paul Provenza? Yeah. I've seen clips. Yeah. There's a, there's the one, my favorite one is, it's uh, Judd, um, oh gosh, who's all in? I think it's, it's, it's Judd, Bo Burnham, Gary Shanling, Marin. Mm-hmm. I remember uh, this. Uh, yeah. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> and, oh, and uh, Ray Romano. It's crazy. Okay. And, uh, and Bo Burnham at one point like looks at the group and he's like, I just have a question on like kind of like a behalf of the younger generation. And he looks at Gary Shanley and he goes like, uh, who are you? And it gets a big laugh. <laughs> and Shanley goes, it's so good it, because it's so mutual. Right. And that's what you want. Mm-hmm. Yep. You want to be Gary Shanley and go, yeah, I don't, you think I want to be you? Yeah. I'm Gary Shanley. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had my. I don't want to make a music video in my attic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gary Shandler. <laughs> you ever seen the Larry Sanders show? Yeah. It was Between HBO, six yeah. seasons, baby. I'm an I'm an Iron Man too. <laughs> Not trying to sing, do a country song parody. Yeah, I paid my dues. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think that that is a much healthier way to kind of maybe like you, that he looks at you as like you're old and not lame, a threat, but you're no. you're like yeah. no, I love you, but I don't want to be you. I'm not jealous of anything about him. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I love him to death. And then all the clothes are just crap that I wore in the sixth grade. Yeah, yeah. That I hated then. I know. Right. I'm like, well, I hate these big pants, but I'm chubby, so I guess it's kind of hiding it. And yeah. then so that's good. <laughs> and then but then I'm like, I'm never going back to that. And I just yeah. want them to know. From my heart, none of your generation is that original. Oh, amen to that. You know, none of, not your clothes, (laughs) uh, not the things you say. This is all repeat and it's not original. And I get it because you didn't grow up with anything original. You're watching things that have already happened Mm. and you're just kind of living that way. Well, they kind of like, even like the, like, I was like, you know, your generation didn't invent TikTok. None. You didn't invent the iPhone. No. You right. guys are just consumers right. of things that older people made. Yeah. You know? And also, that came off a little hateful. You are- <laughs> <laughs> we like bubble tea. Don't worry. Yeah. You are going to save the world. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, I think they will. I think- No, they're going to create something yeah, as much that as- we can't. 
Boomers like will not take responsibility for them wrecking a bunch of stuff. Right. Millennials thought they were helping, but we were also part of the problem. I think Gen Z, it's on you guys, and I think you guys will actually pull it off. Wow, that got really hopeful there at the end. No, I, 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 I do you believe that, that, or no, are I you just trying that. to make sure yeah. you have a young fan base? No, I don't want a young. Do not come to my show. <laughs> I can't. I can't with can't your mullets up. and can't. your <laughs> your mullets. I can't. Un- yeah. No, no, don't come to my show. I don't want you. But uh, <laughs> I do think you're a betterment for society. That's interesting. Then the what's the Sweet. how is yeah. ours different? We're uh, sorry. I'm trying to co- I'm trying to find some uh, questions Wi-Fi? here. That's why I'm doing I here. I think I think our gener the millennials. I think we were just getting into our feelings, which is good. Yeah. But I think we dove in too deep into mm. our feelings and too deep into trying to make the world a better place. Yeah. And I think and that was natural. We were yeah. like actually trying to dive yeah. in. But Gen like Z's nine eleven and yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Gen Z is gonna be able to balance mm. the self help and making the world a better place yeah. without uh like going extreme. With I disagree. It. I think mm. it's gonna be Gen a, which is the one the right one behind F? them. Okay. I think it's not right. going to be my older kids. I think it's going to be my younger kid. Okay. Be- well, they, starting maybe with, more. Starting ma- more with late gen-, late gen Z, like our kids, because there is a lot that like my teenagers look at like what adult Gen Zers do and they really roll their eyes at. Okay. Because I think they can see like, I think millennials took uh, some, st- I think Gen Z took some of our bad traits and went even further with them, actually. Mm-hmm. Like, and so I think the generation behind them, you know how it does that. Of course, there's, correct. There's like, yeah. the, you know, like, mm-hmm. like the 60, like the, you know, like, um, like the outrageous 70s led to the extra- extraordinarily conservative 80s, mm-hmm. you know, which led the to 90s. the crazy, like late, yeah. the, the 90s went wild again. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then the 2000s, early 2000s were super conservative. It yeah, just kind of does yeah. that, yeah. where mm-hmm. it will be really funny to think about, like, what if Gen A comes up and is just like super conservative? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're like, you know, there was this great president in the late, tw- in the early 2000s, Donald Trump, who had some pretty good ideas. They <laughs> think Handmaid's Tale is like a doctor. Documentary. Yeah. <laughs> we're making that. You know. Uh, all right. Well, let's end. We had one more pod uh, uh, Patreon question. This is from Bonnie. Um, hey, Bonnie. Is uh, Bonnie has a question for you, Zoltan? Is does your mom think being a comedian is a real job now? <laughs> um, <Nah>. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, I, I, she knows that I make good money at it, and yeah. she's very happy for it. Yeah. But no part of her love will ever think it's yeah. a real mm-hmm. steady income. I know she yeah. hopes I can do it forever. Yeah. But mm-hmm. she's also like, you know, save your money. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So. You told me that story yeah. where you got a, a nice check. It was your probably your first big check. Yeah. From mm-hmm. Dry Bar. Yeah. And she gets your mail still. She gets, she. And so she opened it. Yeah, and I called her beforehand. Yeah. And I was like, hey, this giant check is coming. Yeah. And then she looks at it. She goes, "What? Whoa! Is this? Would you do for this? Yeah. She, like, <laughs> would you, would you have to do? Is it real? I'm gonna go cash it now. I'm not waiting for you. What did you do to get this? Yeah. What, what did, did you do to get this? You know. I have your last name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, she was so terrified. And yeah. She's like, "This is great." Yeah. But it's so funny how judgmental she is at the same time because the next quarterly check came, which was still huge. Oh. But it was half the amount. She's like, and she it's goes, over. "It's over." <laughs> <laughs> You're on the decline. You had a good run, son. Yeah, and she how goes, are your contacts at the auto shop? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like, "It's not too late to go back to college." Yeah, or something, you know. And so I think, I think her her viewpoint is definitely spot on. That there's ebb and flow. Every check isn't going to be what it is. Right, right. But there's more big ones to come. There's going to be small ones to come. And the whole point is, I just don't. I don't want to have my name on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Unless yeah. it's a m- piece of merch. <laughs> yeah, unless it's a piece of merch that I'm trying to sell yeah. after the show. Uh, lastly, she Bonnie also asked, and I think this is a good question, where she said, um, and this is a nice little Dustin's Comedy Corner question. Uh, okay. for, was, do, do you confuse people when you're saying an immigrant, and do they question you after your shows about it being true? Because I am i don't speak with an accent? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, not re- I think if I talk about it, it, and have some stories behind it. I think they get it. Yeah, because I'm I'm pretty upfront. I'm like, yeah, I moved when I was four. Yeah. So I mean, that immigrant story, 
is there, but that's why I don't I don't have the thick accent. I'm not yeah. Suspenders. I think it's a really old school question that people get. I because I get is it true? Do you really have three kids and stuff? It's a very like it comes from old character comics mm-hmm. where they're like, did you just make that whole like, thing oh, up? Nothing I yeah. said was true. And like yeah. no, I you think I named three children when I came up with this thing? And they're like, well, I mean, Jeff Dunham has puppets. Do you, and we're in that generation now. If you ever think about it, as yeah. far as comedy goes, yeah. Like how many people have blown up on Instagram and TikTok that are full on characters? Yeah, and yeah. And, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, I was looking at it. Someone was on a show that I just did that was like the Stony Baloney character. I don't even know what he was, but he had like <laughs> half a million followers on Instagram. Stony Baloney. And I'm like, oh, I'm watching Stony. 80s comedy. Yeah. This is back. Yakov Shmirnoff yeah. if he was a stoner surfer guy. Yeah. And it's like, oh, man, like we think we're killing it so hard in stand yeah. up as a scene. Yeah. We are going to be laughed at so hard in about yeah. 10, 20 years. I agree. The way we look at 80s comedy, yeah. they're going to look at this generation right yeah. now as a bunch of hacks. People really crap on character comedy. And I oh this is the comparison. I don't I, think there's uh, anything wrong with it. I I don't need because I always make this comparison. I go just regardless of what you think on a funny level. Right. Larry the Cable Guy and Anthony Jeselnik are the same thing. It, absolutely. They're they're both mm-hmm. characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anthony Jeselnik has been probably he's a sweetheart of a man, but he plays a bit of a character, which is an exaggerated version of himself, and it shows this one side of him, and that's what I've I've hung out with Dan Larry the Cable Guy. It's Larry the Cable Guy is just him, forty percent more. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So I, I yeah I'm not anti character comedy. It's just a different thing. Anyways, guys, speaking of character comedy, go see Zoltan on the road. Um, <laughs> yeah, you get your, uh, your I'll, I'll read his own. Uh, March third oh, and fourth, he's going to be at Alameda Comedy Club. That's the Bay Area, baby. Uh-huh. March tenth and eleventh, Spokane. March seventeenth and eighteenth, Escondido. Grand Woo! Comedy Club. You swing to that, baby. And he's going to get some comps to that. Uh, mm-hmm. 24th to 25th, Myrtle Beach. Uh, April 19th, Brea, California. And uh, 18th and 20th. Oh, that's a bad routing. Brea to D.C. Up top. That's some Dustin Nickerson routing. a month routing. later. Yeah. Oh, that's a month <laughs> later. That makes more sense. Oh, you got a month off. Uh, yeah. May 18th to 20th, D.C. Uh, August 17th, Columbus. September 8th, Milwaukee. And September 9th, Milwaukee as well. Uh, we're going all the way. September 14th Thank through you. 16th, uh, the Bug Theater in Denver. And November 10th and 11th, Colorado Springs. Loonies! Nice. Loonies. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah. where we play tennis together. And you said I was playing dirty because I tried. It's very mm. competitive. Uh, all right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Zoltan, thanks, thanks for doing Zoltan. the pod. Yeah, sorry. It's a very abrupt end. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to that episode. We're going to give a special shout out to our as Essential As Oils patrons. That's our $25 a month and up patrons, our highest supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. Shout out to Adam Bush. Avril Griffiths. Bonnie Galliendo. Brandy Elizabeth. Carrie Teague. Code to Grow. Courtney Ebling. Damaris D.S. Stevens. Dave and Melissa Cox. Dave Hoagland. Farrah Journey. Isaac Darren. Jennifer Ashley Downs. Jessica Sewell. Jordan Cohen. Juliana Smith. Lori Amos. Nathan and Jennifer Merritt. Nicole Caraz. Rachel Wilson. Rachel Kennedy. Robert Kappen. Tiffany Payne. And Trey Turner. Thank you so much, everybody. If we said your name wrong, please message us how to spell it phonetically. And Melissa, please make note of it this time because you've messed this up so many times. (laughs) I blame you exclusively. I'm kidding. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one.